Okay, this video is going to be about firewood 101 if you're considering using firewood to heat your house. So the first thing about firewood is it has to be dry. Dry meaning seasoned. Um, different types of firewood, for example, a red oak needs um, more time to season, probably at least six months in the woodshed or underneath cover. It cannot get wet. Things that are wet don't burn well. Water is not a good combustible material. Um, so things to keep it dry, you might want to use pallets underneath. I This woodshed is about, I just sort of scrapped it together about 15 years ago. I like the design because you can attack the wood pile from all sides. Uh, so it allows you to get the different woods out. So. Um, what's next in wood so a thing you're gonna have to worry about is how you get the wood are you going to pay for the wood and have it delivered or are you going to get a chainsaw and split the wood if you do do it yourself uh, gas powered log splitter is the way to go you're gonna need a wheelbarrow um, and a way to transport the wood. A yeah, trailer is the best, a small little trailer, so it doesn't hurt your back, but you can also use the pickup truck. Um, those larger pieces are a pain in the back, but they obviously give you more wood per piece. If you um, get smaller pieces, let me see if there's any, for example, those that piece there, and that piece there you do not have to split those you just saw those up and put them right into the stack it's very easy um, getting into the types of wood you the more BTUs per cord is going to be the the denser the wood a dense wood is going to be heavier it'll burn longer for example this is a, a piece of red oak that's dense and this is um, a piece of spruce or pine a lot of people don't like to burn this um, and you should only really burn this as a starter wood because it burns really hot really fast this will start your fire uh, and so you're gonna have your vent open more on the wood stove when you're using the pine the pine will almost almost match light and then um, you throw in the heavier pieces uh, for example when you split your pine you want to split um, skinny narrow pieces of pine so uh, like I said before you can match light with those and then you when you're stacking your wood you want to uh, stack your wood with pieces of starter wood which would be the lighter wood poplar pine that type of wood in intermingled with the you know the ash and the red oak and whatever else you can get you know maple or whatever um, I would definitely not do a whole pile of softer woods it's gonna it's going to create more creosote and um, burn up really fast. So if someone offers you, you know, several truckloads of pine, I would veer away. Um, another thing is when you're splitting your wood, um, you can see there's a piece of pine here. I have intermingled with this hardwood. Um, you'll, I like to split about one piece of pine to every dozen pieces of hardwood. That way... Um, your stack is has a lot of fire starters built into the stack and again little um, you know when you're splitting you have little pieces of scrap and sides like you keep all this and inner you know interlock it into your pile because you're gonna have to start fires all year and this is what you would grab to start a fire and this is the the external storage of the wood and the aging or seasoning of the wood you're gonna also have to have a spot inside your house as a staging spot so you can store you know several days worth of wood this is about eight well it was about eight cords when it was full that's about what i burn per year in a wood burning stove okay moving to inside so in the summertime we use this as like i don't know we put other stuff in here um and then the winter we use this as a staging point we fill this up that's probably i don't know five days worth of wood when it's full and then near your fireplace, or hopefully it's a wood stove to give you true heat. Um, the cat loves it there. You're gonna wanna have other storage spots. There's where we put the bigger pieces. 
we fill this up for smaller pieces and you're going to want a little can here remember those little pieces of wood that i showed you they were sort of poking around the sides that's what's going to start your fire so you don't have to fight it there's a bunch of small pieces of those pine pieces in there and when you're starting the fire you'll let a lot more air and you'll either crack the door like this so that it just goes ripping out or you'll control your your level of air intake here when you're starting you want a lot of air in your fire as your fire is going hot and it's all coals you reduce the flame down um, and that's basically the fire this thing adds humidity into the air it's just a little uh, cast iron pot and then you have a little fan that runs off of heat and this this unit here will this is about I don't know 1200 square foot house and has a blower um, and we put the the vent above the for the HVAC so it will draw the heat through the house this will heat the whole house even down into the teens